It's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Coming at you on the 1st of January 2017 and Happy New Year to you all. I want to focus in on how important it is to surround yourself with positive sayings, images, and feelings in order to recover from a narcissistic, psychopathic individual in your life. It is so very important because these images, these words, surround and impact us on a very deep level, which is called the subconscious. The subconscious is the, uh, is the, if we think about the conscious mind as the tip of the iceberg, really only 5% of our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions are really conscious to uh, which we are aware of. 95% of that which is going on within the mind, body, and spirit of an individual is unconscious. And when we keep around the negative, toxic um, images, feelings, statements, people, artwork, uh, music, sounds, vibrations, foods, they are all impacting us simultaneously on negative levels. So this goes to create toxic toxicity, sludge, uh, negative thoughts, negative relationships, fighting, um, combativeness, it creates a whole uh, realm of negativity in your life. And the narcissist oftentimes thrives on the deception of negativity and overpowering others and using things like jealousy, envy, hate in pathological ways to disrupt you from your foundation in happiness. And remember, happiness is the fulfilling of your objectives, it's fulfilling of your purpose, it's fulfilling of you and your best self. So the goal of the recovery journal that we discuss here on the channel is so very important because it gives you a roadmap, it gives you a blueprint, it gives you a way to systematically keep in front of you the positive events, things, goals, dreams, emotions, and to keep them in front of you and keep them surrounding you in the present and moving forward so you're conditioned by the future versus being conditioned and programmed from the past. Remember that the habit, uh, habitual lies that were told to you by a psychopathic or narcissistic individual is, you know, tending to continue to run one's life even after they're out of your life. So you need to extract them. You need to uproot them. You need to deprogram. You need to decondition yourself, your life, your mindset, the images in your life, the people in your life, the music in your life. The, uh, the emotional and uh, uh, the uh, behavioral experiences that you go through that continue uh, your belief on yourself, your thoughts, and then really the experiences that you feel within your body as well, and really sort of detox from this. And this is a, uh, a somewhat of a cold day, but I, I wanted to use this as a very refreshing uh, day uh, where the air is clean, uh, all the germs are, are cleared out of the air, uh, it's very fresh. Um, you know, there, it's uh, a very important part of the season in the winter, which is, you know, it's, it's the uh, time of beginning when the things are essentially frozen and things are very still and very peaceful and very serene. So I want to use this opportunity to discuss really the uh, various sections of the recovery journal so you can get these moving forward. And I will, I do plan to have future videos. We're going to be celebrating the new year all this week. And I am going to be putting together some structured format for you to use um, in terms of written tools and organizing these and detailing them out for your use. But most importantly, I want you to get a couple things in hand. First is a calendar. I want you to get a day-to-day a -day calendar that you can write on, uh, that you can um, add events, that you can add sayings, that you can add pictures for yourself. Um, that's big enough, you know, I would say eight and a half by 11 in size, you know, almost the size of like a mini laptop or what have you, that you could, that is uh, dated and has, you know, hours and time for you to put in a uh, plug in appointments and things of nature, because it's going to be very important for you to have a place to write down all the new events, places, things, and ongoings that you're going to be experiencing in the upcoming year. So I want you to get a calendar. The next thing I want you to do is get a thick journal about yay, yay big. Um, you know, a five subject notebook, something with a lot of paper. If you only get a skinny notebook, you're basically not going to be able to fill it up with, with your dreams. You're thinking too small. You're, you know, you're, you're, you're limiting yourself. You're curtailing yourself. So get yourself a big, hearty, healthy notebook that you can write out. 
uh, you know, a, a lot of these activities and exercises that we're going to be describing here in the recovery journal because this is going to be something that you are creating and it's for you and your eyes only. Then, uh, and the next thing I want you to do is get a pen, get a favorite pen that you love to write to, uh, that you, you love to write with. You, you don't want to have a shortage of pens. Pens are a wonderful tool because you can uh, open up your thoughts, you can open up and jot down things that come to you, and you can uh, have these displayed in front of you for your reference because these things that you write out are the musings of your soul. These are the voices of the authentic self. Oftentimes, this is the very part of you that has been shut down, shut out, made to be non-existent by the uh, abusive individual. They, um, they have deluded you into feeling like, you know, um, you couldn't do it. They didn't believe in you. Um, you can't make it. You'll never overcome this addiction. Uh, you know, you, uh, you know, you, you belong doing this and this for me and controlling you through fear, guilt, obligation, all the fogs and things of that nature that the psychopathic and narcissistic manipulative people will have you hitherto believe and you need to get in thinking for yourself now. It's very important for you to take control of your thoughts, take control of your behaviors, and take control of your emotions moving forward. Take charge. Get a handle on it. Get a grip. Because the new year coming up is going to give you a ton of new experiences and eye-awakening aha moments. It's going to give you a deeper, richer experience of life, a sense of security and peace within you. But furthermore, it's going to keep you separate from the toxic people and the uh, sort of backsliding, regressive ways that they are engaged in while you're moving forward, plugging ahead in your life and experiencing the people, events, and emotions that you want to do, be, and have moving forward. So in the recovery journal, the very first thing I want you to understand is that oftentimes what's blocking you into pursuing the relationships that you want, getting the things that you, you uh, wish to have, are negative toxic thoughts. So it's very important for you to get these thoughts out. <laughs> I'm going to unplug here for a moment. Oh, wait. <sighs> Maybe not. Okay, let me just get off my rump, rumpus. Okay, sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, one of the most important things for you to do is to realize that negative thoughts, negative feelings tend to stagnate and they tend to accumulate in the body, in the mind, and in the spirit. Toxic thoughts are, I'm not good enough. I need to uh, pursue this and this guy. I need to spend hours following this girl. I need to uh, become a detective and find out what's going on with this person so I make sure that I, I still have them in my life. Um, I need to, uh, you know, go and, uh, and, and maintain these and these relationships so that I don't lose X, Y, and Z. These are all the, uh, these are all the myriad sort of uh, escapades that the, um, that the conscious mind will keep in touch and keep you stuck. Basically, it'll keep you running in your life. It'll, it's like a negative program. It's like a virus. Oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> I just have to get, it's a little cold out here. If you can't, uh, we got a little bit of ice here in the background. Uh, 32 degrees or so. Uh, I got the layers on, so we're gonna move forward, plugging forward here. Um, so realize that the negative thoughts, the woe is me, the oh pity me, the pity party, uh, you know, I'm. I should have had this in my life. They should have treated me this way. I deserve this. After I did A, I should have B with them. You know, all these musings, these are all really the sort of negative churnings of the subconscious mind that are trying to keep you stuck. And you need to release these. You need to let them go because if you don't, you're going to carry them. They're going to continue to uh, pollute your your uh, your your days, your body, your mind, your spirit, your thoughts, your belief on yourself, and they're going to become uh, self-limiting beliefs to you. So re realize that um, part of the recovery journal that I want you to do is first thing in the morning, if you can take at least two to three pages of longhand and just sort of you know do a brain drain. Um, if you can wake up in the morning and just write two to three pages of longhand writing um, while you have your coffee, your juice, uh, your toast, your omelet, whatever it is you like to wake up because the mind is very fresh in the morning. And if you uh, now put in a good habit of writing uh, first thing in the morning, 
excuse me, <laughs> moving around here. Um, if you can uh, spend the first couple hours um, just unloading and getting it out on the paper, you will find that you're able to think much more clearly during the day, and then you'll have this journal to go through time and time again. It, your journal will almost be like your friend. So this is the first object, which is calling uh, your basically your recovery brain drain, getting the negative thoughts out. You know, he, he or she was this, he or she was that, he or she said this, he or she did that. I deserve this, I deserve that. All those ramblings that tend to pollute your mind need to be purged out. Because if you don't, you're gonna carry them. Also getting, you know, talking to people who get it, like, um, you know, going to blogs and things of this nature is also a very helpful tool. But if you have your own uh, journal with which you can go to, that is very helpful. The next section I want you to engage in is, the first topic is the things that I want the things that I want. I want you to take at least, um, you know, two pages and fill them up with things that you want. Physical things, things that you want to have, things that you want to do, places you want to go, events you want to experience. If you can begin to uh, detail these out and realize that these are the things that you want, but maybe the experience with this other individual was keeping you limited, Sorry. Whoa. Okay. I love these spontaneous videos. And no, I'm not editing this stuff. I don't do edits. I do raw. Okay. So we were saying writing out the things that you want. Okay. I want to go fishing. I want to go ice fishing. I want to go horseback riding. I want to go sledding. I want to go for a walk. I want to go golfing. I want to go sunbathing. I want to go to a uh, massage. I want to have a professional medicure, pedicure. Um, I want to um, have a new bike. I want to start bike riding. I want to start yoga. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. And I want you to get these out. And this is, these are things that you want to do, but perhaps what you're going to find when you write these out in the recovery journal is that you had stopped these behaviors and pursuing these goals because this person has absorbed so much of your energy into their conflicts that you haven't been able to pursue these. I want to go to a Bible study. I want to do a spiritual course. I want to take a workshop on flower arrangement. I want to start a painting class. I want to start a, a, a new musical instrument. I want to get into filmmaking. I want to get into scuba diving, snorkeling. Um, I want to get into belly dancing. Um, I want to get into Bikram yoga. I want to uh, try my hand at poetry. All these different things. I want you to fill at least two pages with the things that you want to do. And more on this in the next session because it's getting too cold out here. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. Bye.